What's up guys, welcome back to another Pokemon PK Hex tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to gen the Gen 1 and Gen 2 transfer mons from the Virtual Console games. So this video was requested by Blaze Gaming Network, and uh, basically things you'll need are a 3DS with Homebrew access, JK Save Manager, which you get from Homebrew, uh, you'll also need an SD card, SD card reader, and then finally you will need PK Hex, which is very easy to get, and once you have all that, you're pretty much ready to go. So the process between the Gen 1 and Gen 2 games is pretty much the same. There are a few things that you have to change depending on what game uh, you're genning from. Um, but pretty much everything's the same. But I will walk you guys through a Gen 1 mon and a Gen 2 mon just to show you guys the steps of both. So for this first example, we're going to go with a Gen 1 Primeape from Yellow version. And once you have that, you can set the gender to male or female. It doesn't matter. Um, for the nickname, you can name it whatever you want. For the level, I would just recommend setting it to 100. That way you don't have to worry about its move legality or whatever. Um, but you could just set it to 50. It doesn't matter. Um, just make sure that you don't leave it at 1 because <laughs> it's obviously not going to be legal then. So I would just advise going to level 100. Uh, for the nature, you can set it to whatever you want. We'll go with a jolly nature. For the held item... You can basically give it whatever item you want, though if you want your mon to be legal, make sure the item is actually released. So we're just going to go with a choice scarf. And for the friendship, the friendship doesn't matter unless you're using moves like uh, return or frustration. If you're using frustration, leave it at zero. If you're using return, max it out at 255. The ability here is very important. For the transfer mons from the virtual console, they always come with their hidden ability. So make sure you don't give it one of the first two. It's always got to be a hidden ability. For the language, doesn't matter. You can change it to your language. I speak English, so we're going to leave it alone. Here you can give it the Pokerus. I always just infect my mons because it's, it's good to have in case you ever have to change EVs later. Um, for the country, I live in the United States. And the subregion for me is North Carolina. And then the 3DS region is the Americas for me. So that just depends on where you live. Next, we can go to the Met tab. And the Origin game, as I said before, we're going to be making this mod look like it came from Yellow version. Met location is going to change to the Kanto region. Pokeball, you can leave that alone. Um, or you can go with like a Great Ball or Ultra Ball. Basically, it has to be a Pokeball that was from Gen 1. So you can't do like the Kurt Pokeballs and stuff from like Gen 2 unless you're genning a Gen 2 mod. Just keep that in mind. Make sure your mons are actually legitimate. Um, for the met level, it doesn't really matter. You can put it at 5. You can put it at 50 if you wanted. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Leave the met date alone. That's just today's date. Uh, and everything else you don't have to mess with here. So don't make sure you do not check the fateful encounter button. And you do not check the as egg button. Next, you can go to stats. You can give your mon 31 in all stats. 31 IVs in all stats. Unless you're running like a Trick Room Mon, which you could leave the speed at zero if you wanted to, or if you're running like a Special Attacker, you could leave the attack at zero. But since we're not, we're going to go 31 in every stat, and then we'll go 252 attack, 252 speed, and then the rest into Special Defense. So pretty much that part is easy. Attacks, just make sure your attacks are legitimate. So we'll go with like Close Combat, U-Turn... Stone Edge, and then like Earthquake. And then if you want to, you can give your Mon PP ups. I would recommend it because you get more moves that way. Um, and also relearn moves you, don't, you do not have to worry about. And then on the final tab, make sure that on the SID you leave it at zero or you could just totally get rid of everything here. Um, on the TID, you can make it your trainer ID if you want to make it look more legitimate. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change it to that, which is my trainer ID. Um, and then you can make it your trainer name. For me, it's Chad. And then here, the latest not OT handler. Basically, what you do here is you make it your trainer name for your Pokemon Sun and Moon game. So basically, my name is Chad in pretty much every one of my Pokemon games. So I'll just put Chad here as well. But if you have like a different name for each game, you would just put another name here. And then make sure you click out here and you'll see that this box becomes green. And then you're pretty much almost done here. 
you'll notice this little Game Boy button thing. Uh, that's because you're actually doing the virtual console thing. That's what that means. Um, the last thing, well, one of the last things you have to do is go to Memories, then go to Residence, and right here it'll say Latest Country and Region. So for me, it's the United States. Oops, did not mean to click Singapore. Why is it not? Okay, here we go. What? All right, whatever. We'll just type it out. And then for region, North Carolina. I don't know why that was being so finicky, but anyway, once you're done with that, click save. And you're pretty much done. The last thing you have to do is re-roll the EC or encryption constant. So re-roll that and then re-roll the PID. And if you want to make your mod shiny, click this button. And that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and check your mod to make sure it's legit. And as you can see here, this little pop-up happened and uh, it says my mod is legal. And then you right click in your box and click set. And you can see in my box one, I have a primate that we just ginned. Um, so basically the gen two mods are literally the same. So we're gonna go with a scissor. And then again, you can nickname it whatever you want. You can level it whatever you want. Um, we're gonna go with a, we'll go with a careful nature this time. And we'll give it the scissorite. Um, we'll give it max friendship, although that doesn't matter. Again, make sure the ability is the hidden ability. So for scissor, it's light metal, but it obviously changes once it, it mega evolves. Everything else you can leave the same. Go to Met. Now, instead of yellow version, because Scizor was not a Gen 1 Mon, we're going to go with, we'll go with silver version. And you'll see here this Met location becomes none. Make sure you change that to the Johto region. Again, be careful with the Pokeball, and then you can leave the Met level, uh, level 50, and then leave the Met date alone. And both of these buttons you don't have to press again. Stats, you can change the stats to whatever you want. Uh, I believe this time around we're going to go with a max HP, oops, what is happening here? There we go, max special defense, and then the rest in defense for a bulky scissor. This time we're going to go with a curse, roost, drain punch, oh my, not drain punch, what the fuck, bullet punch, <laughs> and we'll go with a... Uh, Brutal swing, because unfortunately, the scissor from the virtual console does not get access to knockoff, which is really unfortunate. But anyway, so that's going to be our scissor move set there. I know I fucked up a little bit there, but it's okay. Um, make sure you leave the SID to zero once again. And then you can basically name yourself whatever here. Make sure that this part's green. And then go to memories. Again, make sure your residence is uh, put in here. Click save. And you are completely done. All you have to do now is re-roll. And again, if you want to make it shiny, click the PID button over here, or the little star button, and uh, check if it's legit. And that is it, guys. As you can see, we have a legal scissor now. Right click, set, and you're done. There's our prime ape, and there's our scissor. So that's pretty much it, guys. It is very simple to do. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it. <laughs> And um, yeah, I love you guys. Peace out.